Hi there, welcome to the tutorial for fast lane digital audio school down in Montpellier, France, an Ableton certified training center, and I'm Freddy Frogs, a certified Ableton trainer. So today I'm going to show you an app, a paid for app. Now I don't always do, I don't often do paid for app, but this one is well worth looking at. It's Video Sync. Video Sync enables us to link audio and video within Ableton Live on the session view, so you can basically um, play your music whilst um, 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 showing your uh, video work on a projector uh, in a club or uh, at a venue. So there are other alternatives we've been using for years uh, to play video with Ableton Live to sync video and audio, but this one is integrated within Live and it's worth, well worth looking at it. It's highly fluid. Let's have a look at it. So Video Sync is an external app you need to install on your Mac. As you install it, it asks you to install the Control Surface script that goes with the Ableton Live. So you say yes and it does it for you. You don't need to go and do it manually. So I'm going to start the uh, actual application now for my dock. The video window already appears on top of Ableton Live. So now I'm going to go and reach for the actual folder Video Sync as installed onto my application folder. And in there, I find a plugin folder and a master plugin, which I'm going to load, guess where? On the master. And it gives me the green light here. It does that because I've actually enabled Video Sync as a controlled surface within the Link MIDI preference tab in Ableton Live. Once this is done, I can click always on top, and that's it. I've got my video window ready to go. I can move it around. I can stick it into maybe a uh, video projector so I can project it inside the club and I can also stick it as a full screen here So that's it that will enable us to project onto a different screen that video window Which is you'll find very integrated with an Ableton Live look as I start the first clip that has video printed onto it Nothing happens until I raise the volume and you can find now that the volume of that clip is directly associated with the opacity of the actual projection right there. You see as I lower it, as I raise it, this is directly integrated. As I mute the track, the video disappears. Right. So right now the projection is not fully filled by this video. So I need to go and reach this time for the extender plugin here. I'm going to load that onto the track, the channel that has that video. And I'm going to say scale to fill. There you go. And now I've got a full screen resolution here. So I'm also going to bring this extender onto all the tracks that have video loaded onto them right there. So let's bring another clip in. And you can see as I raise the volume, this video becomes clearer. And now all these videos are blending. Now, we can also, in the extended window, say this video will take over the others. We can also mute the audio and video to de-associate the on and off switch, basically, of the track, these uh, mute switches, yeah? So, now, we can associate uh, video and audio plugins pretty easily. Let's go and grab, I don't know, some kind of, uh, maybe some feedback plugin here. Let's find... You see, it, it distorts a little bit the lines of this uh, circle that's associated to the kick drum. And if I wanted to, I could easily uh, associate this video plugin to an audio plugin in Ableton Live. I don't know. Let's go for a grain delay, for example, and just load that into a rack, Command G, and basically rack and map this to a macro. So I don't know. I'm going to go for feedback here, for example. Right. And let's try that. Yeah, you can see that the, yes, the feedback effect. It's a little bit too much at the moment, but, you know, if I calibrate it, like so, okay. So I can also go in a little bit of macro here, maybe that would help a little bit. Something like that, yeah. So you see, you can uh, easily, really easily associate the video effects to the audio effects with an Ableton Live, just like so. So that's the first trick I really wanted to show you about Video Sync, but we can do a lot more than that. Let's go over to the uh, uh, plugins again, and let's get a, let's say, a displacement plugin, okay? Let's load it, I don't know, onto this uh, brass track here. Cool. And now with this uh, plugin here, I can here hit a source for the dis displacement. So basically, we're going to get these two video in to interact with each other's find how to work this out maybe bring a little bit luminance that's it so that's the top bottom you see go up and down 
and that's the left right I think right there okay cool so now we're gonna find that if I go and grab max for life envelope follower let's find it there it is into the uh, max for life audio effect and I just asked this uh, envelope follower to go and move modulate the uh, the luminance the, uh, the the left and right uh, movement here so now can find that the video is now being not modulated just yet uh, it's doing the rap thing here yeah wrong wrong mapping Freddy let's do it here yeah yeah that's it now it's, it's kind of working yeah I could also um, maybe map it to this um, this guy here probably a little bit better yeah that's it, yeah. So it's a bit too much. You see the movement is too too wide. I'm just gonna bring this down a bit. Yeah, like so. Okay, and you find that if I now bring let's say uh, a beat repeat, for example, on this uh, uh audio effects here on this uh kick drum. Alright. You see the movement of the kick is straight away translated into a movement for the video yeah so that's 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 pretty cool and we can do a lot more with max for lives obviously max for life plugins the envelope follower is obviously uh, an obvious one to go for to kind of link uh, video movements uh, to audio movements but yeah we can do a lot more and one one cool feature of this app is the um, beta sampler we've got it's inside the instruments here. So I'm going to load that into a track here. There you go. Look at that. It looks just like the Ableton sampler. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to just basically group that into a drum rack right there. Okay. And I'm just going to duplicate that a few times. There you go. And load a few videos inside the samplers. So yeah. It's just like an audio sampler. Yeah. Just going to bring some videos in there. There you go. And one more. All right there, okay, cool. So that's it. The videos are loaded in there. Just gonna ask. Um, I'm just gonna load on maybe uh, some kind of audio instrument here, and let's go for the um, the old selector kit in Ableton Live. Yeah, let's just load that into this MIDI track right there. Cool. And I'm going to play this MIDI track using uh, my uh, computer keyboard here. If it loads, yes, it does. There we go. So that should work. Yeah, you go. I've got a kick drum here. Yeah, and I'm gonna ask this MIDI track that bears the uh, beta video sampler to go listen to the other track. Okay, and I'm gonna let the MIDI through with the monitor in. And you see, and now as I hit my kick drum, I've got these squares coming up. Now I can obviously tweak that a little bit. Let's oopsie, what? I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I meant to put it there. Yeah. There you go, see? Yeah, I'm gonna move this start frame as well, right here. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, two. Yeah, cool. Just gonna maybe quantize that a little bit. There you go. So that should kind of work. One sound didn't have um, a video associated to it, so let's move this one. Yes, yeah, straight away we got full integration of this uh, MIDI plugin. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, straight away you've got total integration here. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun, obviously, playing with these videos. I mean, we, we've been playing with uh, Visible, we've been playing with Resolume for years. Uh, th th these solutions work, but I really find this one is fluid. And now it's a paid-for app, so you get, you're gonna have to, you know, uh, go into the piggy bank to uh, to buy it. It's two hundred forty-nine euros, I'm afraid, but it's well worth it. I've been waiting for something a little bit like that for quite a long time. I can see the potential uh, behind the behind it really huge. I mean. 
playing videos straight away in the session view like this. And you see the what's really convenient is that the uh, association of audio effects and video effects is really easy to do. Using Max for Live, you're going to be able to modulate and get some really cool integration, some really neat modulation on the spot, like spontaneous kind of movements and, and effects really at your fingertip. And all of that within Ableton Live. So yeah, go and try it for yourself. Go and download the demo and uh, tell me what you think. Bye.